welcome to The Update. I'm Eleanor Quirk. Australia has voted in favour of giving Palestine full membership within the United Nations General Assembly. 143 nations voted yes to the motion, while nine countries, including the US, were against it. Australia's ambassador to the UN, James Larson, was among the first to address the General Assembly at the UN's New York headquarters. The resolution expresses the General Assembly's aspiration for full Palestinian membership of the United Nations. While this resolution is not what we would propose, it is for all these reasons that Australia voted yes. Industry experts are warning the housing crisis will worsen unless more apartments are built. Housing Industry Association data shows the commencement of new builds is at its lowest level in a decade. Chief Economist Tim Reardon says there needs to be double the amount of new builds to address the crisis. If we don't see a doubling in the volume of apartments commencing construction, we're likely to see some extraordinary growth in rental prices and an ongoing acute shortage of rental stock. A lack of investors in particular the apartment market is one of the reasons why we're seeing this low volume of apartment construction. More than $11 billion will be set aside in Tuesday's federal budget to build homes across the country. Two people have been rushed to hospital after a tornado ripped through a city in WA. The severe storm ripped roofs from homes in Bunbury as it flipped cars and sent debris flying. A woman aged in her 30s was injured when the building she was in was flattened. Another man was also injured. This local says it was frightening. The closer I got, I could see sheds, I could see trampolines and the noise and the, the wind and the rain. And TikTok has been likened to pokey machines for children. A Senate inquiry into social media giants will explore the effects apps like TikTok have on Australia's health and well-being. The government says the addictive nature of online videos will also be examined. Sport and entertainment are next. To Sport and Penrith's counting the cost of their 16-10 to 10 win over the Bulldogs. Nathan Cleary coming off the field early after aggravating a hamstring injury. Coach Ivan Cleary says his son is shattered. Yeah, it's very uh, disappointing for him. Um... Yeah, obviously I'm sort of torn between his coach and his dad right now as well, so um, yeah, very disappointing. And the Swans are sitting comfortably on top of the AFL ladder after thumping Fremantle in Perth by 48 points. To entertainment after years of spruiking her diet tips and tricks, Oprah Winfrey has changed her tune on weight loss. The talk show legend acknowledging the role she's played in what she now describes as a toxic diet culture. That famous wagon of fat moment on the Oprah show is one of my biggest regrets. It sent a message that starving yourself with a liquid diet set a standard for people watching that I nor anybody else could uphold. And Justin Bieber's mum, Patty Mallet, has shared an Insta vid expressing her excitement over his baby news. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be a grandma. Oh my goodness! Okay, Justin and Haley, you are going to be the best parents ever. And I am so excited. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you again soon for another episode of The Update.